What's up, guys? It's your boy Hollywood AJ back with another episode of the Keep It 100 YouTube channel. Today, I just thought I'd express my feelings on Lamarcus Aldridge signing with the Brooklyn Nets. And I kind of have to agree with Stephen A. Smith that all of this is kind of annoying. And if I'm being honest, it was cool when Kevin Durant and Kyrie were just, you know, the two man team, the dynamic duo for sure. We thought it was going to be them, AD, and LeBron, just them two competing for the NBA championship. But no, James Harden had to join the mix. So I'm not mad about James Harden is one of my favorite players. Then we got Blake Griffin. Then we got LaMarcus Aldridge. Let's not forget the Brooklyn Nets were already a stacked team way before all these trades happened. And so it just, it puzzles me, you know, how come none of these players receive the criticism that LeBron gets? You know, you see Kevin Durant didn't get that much criticism for bringing all these other guys in, right? He didn't get criticism for bringing Blake, LaMarcus, none of that. And it is openly said that Kevin Durant had a strong role and recruiting Blake Griffin to the Brooklyn Nets. And if LeBron was caught doing that, nobody would, they'd give him an earful of it basically. And at this point, it's just basically not fair. I mean, come on. If David Stern couldn't give us Kobe, Chris Paul, none of that. And yet Adam Silver's given us all these freaking all-stars on one team, it's just not fair. Now, do I think that the Nets are gonna win the title? No, but they will be in the finals. It's going to be them and the Lakers. That's my early finals prediction. But at the end of the day, like I said, it's just not really that fair. It's just crazy that LaMarcus, the world's most craziest shooter, his shooting form is out of this world. It's just super crazy to think that, hey, this guy is going to join James Harden, Kyrie Irving, Blake Griffin, and all of a sudden, Blake Griffin can dunk. Let's not forget, he hasn't had a dunk since 2019, and now he's catching lobs from James Harden. I mean, sure, that comes from the dynamic of being a great player. But still, at the end of the day, it's just like, all right, who are you fooling, Blake? I like Blake. I really do. But, you know, come on. We all know you're ring chasing. You had your chance in, with the Clippers. That didn't work out. Had those weird years in Detroit. So it's uh, irritating for sure. But do I hate it? Absolutely not. But at the end of the day, Lakers in seven. We got Andre Drummond. Braun's going to come back healthy. AD's going to come back healthy. And... It just goes to show LeBron is literally Thanos and the Brooklyn Nets are doing everything they can to get the freaking Avengers to defeat LeBron. That's how scared KD, Kyrie, James, that's how scared they are. They want to make sure that LeBron is not winning. The NBA don't want to see LeBron win another title. And that is why we have LaMarcus Aldridge joining the Brooklyn Nets. And that is why the Brooklyn Nets are literally the fucking Avengers. Excuse my language. But that's all it is for me today, guys. Please like and subscribe. Comment on what your take is on the Brooklyn Nets trades and how they literally got the Avengers on their team. It's your boy, Hollywood AJ. I'm out.